Kelly Cole. I'm a Paralympic swimmer and I specialize in the freestyle and backstroke events. This is Women's Health Ask an Athlete. Being an athlete is very important to me, particularly because I grew up with a disability. I kind of grew up in a little bit of a minority and sport was a real platform to showcase what my abilities were when the rest of the world saw something completely different. I've kind of come across the same obstacles being a female in sport, you know, being treated a little bit differently as I was growing up. But I've seen so many wonderful female, powerful athletes, especially coming through the ranks in the last 10 years that I've really drawn inspiration from. And I know that I can get out there and be just as good as the boys, if not even better. I grew up really looking towards Susie O'Neill, Patria Thomas, Jodie Henry, all of those powerhouse athletes. You know, when I was a kid, I used to sit cross-legged in front of the television and, and see what they could do. Um, you know, now we see so many powerful uh, Paralympic role models coming into the mix. Um, and it's really great just to have so much diversity in sport now and um, for anybody to grow up knowing that they can achieve great things in sport and outside of sport if they just give it a good crack. Swimming in terms of inclusion is probably more progress than most sports, especially when it comes to gender and disability. Um, in terms of watching other sports, I've seen a real gender gap with exposure. So whether that's airtime or funding or development opportunities for young girls, you know, you find um, boys and girls usually learn how to play sport together, but then once they hit that um, puberty time, then, then they start to become segregated and, and treated differently. Um, we, we are seeing that change slowly. And I think a big part of that is just exposure on television and for people to see that female athletes are really powerful, they're really talented and they're really skilled. And it doesn't matter what gender you grew up in, you know, you have the same opportunities. Obviously there are still gaps, but we are seeing that gap closing, but there's still a long way to go. Being an athlete can be very challenging at times, especially when you have this idea of what you want to be and everybody else sees something completely differently. And so the advice that I would give young athletes is just to go for it. You know, you know what you're capable of. You shouldn't really be listening to everybody else's limitations that they put on you. You know deep down what you've got, you know deep down what you can deliver and you know deep down who you really are. So just embrace that and really use that going forward. It's actually really interesting. So there's this like phenomenon in sport where if you're in the zone, you don't actually remember any of your race. And I'm sure you've heard it before, but you know, you dive in and then before you know it, the race is finished and you're like, wow, like I, just, I was just on autopilot the whole time. Um, for me, I don't really hear the crowd in the water. Um, I guess I'm just so focused on what I'm doing. But the one thing that I do hear when I touch the wall is my mum, like for some reason, <laughs> Her voice like carries over 15,000 other voices and it's like the only thing that I can hear. And so you'll often find at the end of my races that I'm having a bit of a laugh to myself because I've got my mum over here with flags coming out of her hair, somehow being louder than everybody else. No. <laughs> I have no talent whatsoever. I'm actually not a very talented person. I can like make my whole leg spin around, but that's probably my prosthetic, not me really. No, I don't really have a talent. I can hold my breath underwater for a really long time, like almost three minutes, but I don't think that that's a really secret talent. Like I think people would just expect me to be able to do that. Yes, so I'm a swimmer, which means that we get up before the sun does. And uh, I usually do nine pool sessions a week and they're about two, two and a half hours. And then we do three strength and conditioning sessions a week and they're individually designed um, based on what your weakest areas are. And they are about an hour and a half. So a fair bit of training, but in between all of those sessions, we're doing a lot of physiotherapy prehab work, um, massages, nutrition talks, and then usually studying or working as well. So it's pretty busy life. Oh, okay. I always think about what I'd be doing if I wasn't an athlete. So the one thing I wanted to do would, would be a ballerina for some reason. I really like watching dancing. Um, I actually wanted to be a dancer before I got into swimming. Um, but if I wasn't an athlete, I'd be sleeping in for sure. Um, probably watching what I'm eating a little bit more and uh, being a little bit more social. <laughs> 
I sleep slightly than the most social people. We usually just sleep all day. We're actually quite lazy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Women's Health YouTube channel. This is our night.